to a quick little word from the course with our winner of our two national championships in the cross country scene, Seven Cycles, Mary McConnell. Well, Larry, she is really, really on form here and, and came to race, knows how to peak uh, as an athlete at the right time. Just a superb week for her. This is going to make her really smile. Down here where people can see you and have the production value to think about, hey, Mary. Um, boy, you had to think, I got a good shot at cross country, but tell me how much short track you've been doing this year. Oh, since last national championships, that was my last short track I did. So you're sort of ramping up like once a year, that's sort of ramping up. So the first time out in short track, it looked to me like, you know, you've done a lot of cross, done a lot of short track when you're on the normal circuit. It looked to me with about two laps into it, you had a little smile. It looked like, this is kind of fun. It actually was kind of fun. In fact, this afternoon, I was sort of sitting under our tent like, oh God, just trying to get motivated for this race. I know how much pain it is to race this 20 plus race, 20 minute plus race. And so I um, started to drink my cliff shot drink and get a little caffeine in my system, my yerba mate. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go have some fun. I have nothing to lose. And it was fantastic to ride out there with all those ladies. They're so strong. And everyone was like taking turns at the front and making surges. and. We got it down to five. It was just so exciting to like sit in that group and, and just feel the power and the energy of these women. And, uh, and also, um, in the past, I've always gone off the front and like just blown myself to pieces before the finish line. And so I was not going to do that today. I played the game how I thought I should play the game. And I guess I learned something. Well, you seem to have a very earthly connection to mountain bike racing. You love. In mountain bike racing cross country, you race against the course. But when you do this race, you're in against other racers, yeah. and you gotta like go around the circuitry of Mary McConlog. It's like being inside Mary McConlog's head. You have to find that little like fighter that's back in the schoolyard and kind of get a little mano a mano out there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. I knew which riders to watch, which ones to hang with, and um, just kind of see how they were riding on certain corners and watching the race as it progressed and seeing what happened like on the tight U-turn down there, like we got strung out, really difficult to string back together, and so I knew where to make the moves, so. When you're off the front in a short track, if you get a little sugary in some of the turns out there, you have to really depend on your tires, because you gotta kinda like just hope and pray in that 180, because we've seen a few clown acts where people have lost leads. How much were you depending on your equipment in that last turn? Uh, 100%, my tires, the Kenda Karmas, were just incredible today. They were fast rolling, and they're grippy on these, these dusty, hard-packed turns, and when I stand up, it's not sliding out. It's just incredible, yeah, thanks. To Tell me a little bit about uh, Jim Watermaker. We understand he needed like, some uh, defibrillation after this. He comes in here hoping for maybe one title. He comes out of here with two, and Michael on the podium yesterday. Tell me what it means for what that guy has done for you. Uh, Jim's believed in me from the start, and it's just huge when I can just pay back with jersey time and podium time, and I'm just lucky to be on the block. <laughs> All right, Mary McConnell, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the men's short track, nicely done. We go back to you guys on the stage, organizing the pilots. Thank you very much.